So I'm talking about the thumb metacarpal base fracture. These are uh, very common day-to-day -day practice we see, and most of them are Bennett's fractures, Rolando's, and some of the are uh, extraarticular fractures as well. So they are typically caused by the axial overload and the flexion deforming force. And the most important two things one should remember here is the deforming force of the adductor pollicis, which causes the uh, supination and the adduction of the uh, distal fragment. And the abductor pollicis APL, which is attached, which pulls uh, the metacarpal towards the wrist and causes the deformity. Uh, one should have both these three x-ray, you may see them into the OPD, but one should focus on the Robert view because this gives you the clear idea about the trapezium metacarpal uh, joint. So you can see, and this has to be in your uh, x-ray requisition when you order for the, during intraoperative as well, and as well as the uh, in follow-up cases. Coming to the management, these can be treated very well with the cl uh, closed reduction, plaster, K wires, some require the open reduction. So those fracture which are extra-articular, angulation less than 30 degree, can be very well treated with the plaster cast. And even if they malunite, extra-articular especially, they can be uh, the compensatory motion at CMC joint, uh, take care of that. But as is it, it is very easy to reduce, but it is very difficult to maintain in the plaster cast. Another uh, thing, that verification of the, especially the articular fracture is difficult through the plaster cast. So they need uh, intervention, either closed or open. So how do you reduce? Just neutralize the deforming force, force of uh, adductor pollicis and the abductor pollicis. So you can use the Wagner technique. You can give the traction, pronation of the metacarpal that uh, neutralize the adductor pollicis and do the abduction and extension of the metacarpal. And if it is Bennett's fracture, you can just put at the base of the thumb and you can uh, put a plaster. As I said, it is difficult to maintain, especially those intra-articular fracture, so you need to pin them. So again, Wagner technique, reduce, fix them. Uh, one wire going from metacarpal base into the trapezium, or another wire going across the fracture and fixing the second metacarpal. Or you can just uh, catch hold these uh, fracture fragment. So here is a case, a young male had an uh, acute injury, is our office boy treated with the closed reduction and K-wire, wire going across the trapezium metacarpal joint, another wire just holding the fracture fragment. So this was his five years X-ray. You can see the robot view, clear trapezium metacarpal joint, no evidence of arthritis. And this was his uh, function at the end of one year. And grip strength, almost 95 uh, compared to the opposite side. Another uh, patient, acutely presented, you can see, uh, although not classical Bennett's, but it's very close to the joint, reduced with the plaster cast, but unstable, so fixed with the closed K wires, wires across the fracture, and one of the wire going to the, uh, across the trapezium metacarpal joint, fracture healed, six week, and this was his function at the end of one year. So just to add to the list, uh, dry arthroscopy can also uh, help to reduce this fracture. Uh, but again, technically demanding and long learning curve. So you can see uh, the K wire fixation, one wire going across the metacarpal and one just holding the uh, fracture fragments. So when to do open reduction. These fractures, especially those are uh, present in last two years. You can see uh, majority of them, they although advise treatment surgical, but they choose not to, but they come later and this was again presented uh, three weeks after the index injury. So you can do two incisions, either Wagner's curve incision at the junction of the uh, volar and dorsal skin junction or a straight dorsal palmar approach. So this was the patient uh, which was treated with the open reduction, extremely careful not to damage the superficial radial nerve and you can do the internal fixation or some hybrid fixation. So multiple uh, screws and the K-wire, which was broken intraoperatively, could not retire, but has got a good function, very good pinch strength, and the operated side almost, again, more than 95% of the pinch. Some fracture, again, lockdown effect, you may see postoperatively, those are symptomatic, especially with the pain, sometimes crepitus, restricted range of motion, uh, needs to address carefully. 
So what we did, this was a malunited Bennett's fracture. We did an osteotomy. Technical parts, I'm not going to details, but similar kind of osteotomy was done, and we have fixed with the K wire. And this was uh, immediate post-op on the left. And you can see at the end of three years, there is a congruous joint, and there is no evidence of arthritis as well. It's got a good grip strength, full range of motion, and the, again, good uh, pinch strength as well. So another type of uh, Rolandus fracture, again, a highly comminuted, or sometimes you may see T, Y kind of a configuration. You can give the local anesthesia, and you can have idea about the fracture anatomy, or if the patient is non-compliant, or if you want more detail, you can advise the CT scan as well. So as a part, these are high uh, velocity injury, and they are highly unstable. So always operate. They need a surgical intervention, because close reduction is tend to uh, loss of reduction in subsequently. So how you can do again the same uh, technique, uh, you can fix the fracture fragments with the K wires either going into the trapezium metacarpal or across the metacarpal. So another technique uh, you can use when it is not amenable for external uh, the fixation, you can do the external fixation, static, one wire in trapezium, one wire in metacarpal, distract joystick, fix look for the uh, trapezium metacarpal joint, uh, reduction is good, and this was his uh, heel x-ray. So when do you plate? <clears throat> if you see this kind of fracture where you can have a good purchase of the plate, so you can, and, and of course, if you have the access to those uh, fragments, open reduction converted those three fragments into two by passing the uh, small uh, fragment screws and Again, uh, those two fragments are again uh, fixed with the K wires temporarily, and you can apply the plate on the boulder surface, and you can have the early range of motion. And this was his X-ray two years post-surgery. So take home, uh, Robert View is a must during the uh, post-operative follow-up every time. Close reduction K wire is the treatment for the acute Bennett fractures. If the close reduction and ex, uh, external fixation can be used for those comminuted or TY kind of a fracture, and while doing the open surgery, be extremely careful not to damage the superficial radial nerve. Thank you.